Welcome to the Sniper Tower. I believe originally it's a bank. That's what I read, maybe like the headquarters of a bank, because the building is humongous. And during the war, because of how tall it was, and it was used as a sniper tower. the elevator shafts there's nothing left just a big drop in the early 90s when Yugoslavia was falling apart when Bosnia declared its independence a war broke out Bosnia is divided between three different ethnic groups the Bosniak Muslims the Orthodox Serbs and then the Catholic Croats Mostar was the most heavily damaged city throughout the whole war so Mostar is in the Herzegovina part of the country, which has historically been a Croat majority area. And the city is still divided along east and west with Croats and Bosniak Muslims. And so initially the Bosniaks and the Croats fought against each other. And eventually they came to an agreement to stop fighting each other, join forces and begin fighting the Serbs. And that's when the war really, really picked up so Mostar went through almost two different wars. The wars of the Bosniaks versus the Croats, and then the war of the Bosniak and Croats versus the Serbs. So it took a lot of damage. There's tons of abandoned buildings, and yeah, this old bank building has a really unique history. Just a lot of sadness from this building. And now it's kind of a graffiti urbex haven. Came the sniper tower. You can see so far away. That was an adventure. A wee bit scary, not gonna lie. But now we're back on solid ground. You definitely wouldn't be able to do something like that in a lot of more common tourist countries. Kind of crazy that it's still here. I'm not sure why they left a lot of the buildings here. Maybe as like a reminder to what everyone went through. Also, there were like apartments, you know, right next to it. So it'd be, might be hard to demolish that, but there's a lot of, you know, destroyed and ruined buildings all over the city. I saw Bruce Lee, the statue on Atlas Obscura, but I forget why, like what the significance of the statue is. If you know, let us know. We're at the Dervish House, which is a monastery in Lagai. It's built into this mountain behind us and come as we explore what this cool monastery area has to offer. It's absolutely gorgeous. The complex of the Dervish House includes tombs, rooms for prayer, a guest room, the kitchen, a bathroom, courtyard, and a washroom. We just left the Dervish House. The woman working there was really sweet, told us some history and said that it used to be a place where the Dervish people would live and pray and now currently they only pray they congregate there like three times a week, but it was really interesting. I don't know how long we've been walking. A while. But it's all switchbacks up the side of this hill. 
So important thing to know, if you're gonna come to Bosnia and Herzegovina, don't go off the trails. There's still a lot of leftover mines from the war. This fortress was originally built in like the third or fourth century BC and the Romans used it and it was destroyed and rebuilt and destroyed throughout the years until I think the mid 1800s, like 1830-ish. It's just been completely abandoned. So if you wanted to get up here, you basically have to walk up all the switchbacks. And if you're not in pretty good shape, there's no way you're getting up here. It seems like the guys are trying to make it more accessible. There's nothing here. I mean, like, besides the construction workers, we're like the only ones here. It is cool. It's small though. And I think you'd probably only need like 15, 20 minutes up here. I would think it would be better, or I think it would be better if the cable car or funicular or something took people up because the walk up was a bit brutal. So this was the river we were walking by earlier. And the Dervish house is that way along the river. If you know of any other countries where you can go and have like a 2000 year old castle all to yourself, please let me know in the comments because this is amazing. This is like one of the, I think the best selling points of coming to Bosnia. There's like no one here. Got off the mountain, got some snacks. Needed bugles to to pick me up. Got a Snickers and a bottle of Coke. I think it was like six marks. And a bounty. Now we're gonna wait for our bus for like 30 minutes and go back to Mostar and... Yeah, the bus ride like 20 minutes from Mostar and the stop is right outside our Airbnb. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching. Come to Bosnia because it's cheap and beautiful. Yes. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.